guys. I ain't gonna lie, my computer's really giving me a time. Not being super easy. I don't know. I know I'm live and I hope everybody's ready to join in. sit there and trying to argue with my computer for some reason Facebook does not like to work with my computer real well and why did I touch my camera I don't know I guess I'm crazy heck I guess I'm crazy guys I guess that's good enough for who it's for, <clears throat> for the no people that are gonna tune in to watch, the no people that are going to inspire, uh, just like the no people that I see on my YouTube channel. So, let's get to spinning, guys. Don't even know if it's in focus. Don't care. Let's just pedal. Here we go. Let me look here and see if it will actually load on here. Because my computer is obviously junk. Brand new. Pretty. Fairly up to date piece of crap computer. Yeah, it's going. There. And to make things more interesting, I would have music going or a video playing, a movie, something, but copyright strikes, or not strikes so much on Facebook, but they'll shut the live stream down. Instead of letting us creators deal with copyright issues yep I would deal with them myself instead of letting us deal with it they take it into their own hands and tell us what we can and cannot create which is another reason that's leading me to wanting to stop doing videos I'm just kind of tired of screwing around with it all I want to stop doing videos, but yet here I am doing a video. Well, I'm not stopping yet, but I'm going to, most likely to some degree. And I've talked about it and had the issue probably for a couple, two, three years now where I've really been fighting, continuing making videos. I hate to give up on stuff and I had a dream like everyone should have I had a dream to be the next internet you know sensation and there's nothing wrong with wanting that to happen on YouTube Facebook whatever that don't mean I wanted to be the next big thing you know top of the world but I wanted to be you know, I wanted to be out there a popular guy on YouTube and social media and be recognized for doing what I do. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's no different than an actor or anything like that. You know, wanting to be successful and be 
recognized and appreciated in, in their field. Uh, YouTube, and that's no different. It's the same thing. But I've been fighting it now for a while. And I just don't know if it's worth it to keep going anymore. I've had, I've had this discussion before because like I said, I'm back and forth. And people, I've had a couple of people chime in and say, well, you know, at least you're, at least you're entertaining those 200 and whatever people that are subscribed to you on YouTube. Well, no I'm not. Because I don't get 200 and something views on all my videos. I don't get 200 and something views uh, even on Facebook. I don't get uh, 200 likes. I don't get 200 comments. I don't get 200 shares. If those people were truly supporting me, I would get, you know, let's say I have 200 subscribers on YouTube. All those 200 people would be watching, liking, commenting, sharing, taking part. That's how you support your channels. That's how you support your creators. Every channel that I'm subscribed to on YouTube, I watch every video they put out. Except if they live stream and it's too long, sometimes I don't watch those. But like normal videos and some live streams, normal videos I take part in, I like, I comment, and give them watch time. That's what helps. That's what gets you out there. And that's what makes YouTube and other social media notice you. Can't get noticed if people ain't taking part. So... And I mentioned on my Facebook, you know, I wrote wrote out kind of my thoughts on things. Of course, nobody replied on there. What? I kind of wrote, I wrote all this out on my Facebook and just kind of put my thoughts out there on my page. And I just, I don't, I don't think it's really worth my time and effort anymore. And I've thought that now for a good three years, two, three years. Easy. But I'm stubborn and I keep going. I hate to give up. Because you never know. One more day and you might break out. One more video and you might break out. You never know. So you keep trying and you keep trying. But four years later, and you're still not growing you know, at all, you're not getting the views and the watch hours, the comments, the interaction. I'm basically making these memories for me. I do live streams where I'm the only person watching a live stream. <laughs> I do videos where I'm the only person that'll watch the video. You know? If you need inspiration working out, cycling, working out, walking, trying to eat better, you should be watching me. You should be on your bike right now. Your treadmill, your elliptical, you should be working out, you should be listening, you should be getting involved. That's how things happen, that's how change happens. That's how I can help you by you helping me help you. We all help each other. Can't, can't do it if it, you know, if we don't work together, guys. So, this is going to be uploaded to YouTube, to my YouTube fam. And uh, you don't know if you don't, if you're not following me on uh, Facebook, if you're not a friend or anything, you don't know. But I post my maps from Strava every day. When I was cycling, when I walk, I post my maps on there. And 
I've been doing that since February 13th, 2016, on my very first bicycle ride. Every May, every ride, even if I've had to go to Google Maps and map out the ride myself, it's on there. Because there was a time whenever I didn't use a riding app like Strava or Runtastic or uh, whatever else I used. Uh, so I would just remember where I went and I would pull up Google Maps, my address, and I would start there and map out everywhere I went and then save that picture and upload it. Takes a lot of work, a lot of effort. But that was for me, it's for my gratification. It's just kind of cool to keep up with it stuff. But over the past, you know, couple of years, two or three years, it's also my attempt to help motivate people. So you see me doing this every day. Well, if he can do it every day, I can do it every day. But if I'm not inspiring people at all by doing that, then there's no sense in worrying about it, because that takes time out of my day having to get my map, crop it, add some text, my mileage and stuff that I want to put on there, put a heading on it, and then, you know, upload it to Facebook and all that stuff, because I don't just upload straight from Strava, here, here's my map, I take a screenshot on my computer, I put the date and the mileage on the screenshot, upload that, and then I do the description and all that, and just kind of gives, you know, a little bit of my day with that picture, with that map. So, I go out of my way to do these things, not only for myself, but for everyone else, in hopes that it will inspire people. But, I don't know if I'm inspiring anyone, because no one ever comments. Mike, you don't comment on my stuff that I post on Facebook. You're right. I don't comment to 99% of what's going on on Facebook on my, with my friends that I have on there. That goes for my family. Because most of them post polit uh, political stuff, religious stuff, newsy, hot topic-y, debatable type newsy stuff. Stupid memes, you know, stupid TikTok cook video goofy things, and I don't reply to any of that. I don't comment on it, because I don't care about any of it. It's not a positive influence on the world or on yourself or anyone else, so. And yep, that goes for religion. Religion sucks. If you're following any religion that that uh, acts like it knows facts, and it preaches things as facts, and teaches things as facts, uh, you're wrong. So, I don't follow that. I can't follow it, because it goes against my character, my judgment, my common sense. I might not be a rogue scholar, but I consider myself to have a little bit of common sense. So, I don't comment on any of that crap. So, what I post is good quality, positive stuff on my Facebook and YouTube. And sometimes, you will see you will see me or hear me get into more serious discussions, but it's very rare. And this would be considered a serious discussion right here, even. Very rare. I, you know, I try to keep things a little bit more on different topics. But I'm trying to come out and let you all know kind of what's going on. So, there's a lot of people out there on Facebook that have stopped following me and commenting on my stuff and and uh, cheering me on because I stopped commenting on their stuff and taking part in their stuff. So, uh, you can't really compare the two because I'm totally different than what you're doing. So you should always support good positivity. And I have a couple of people on Facebook. Uh, family, 
maybe a friend or acquaintance or even a complete stranger that might, you know, like or give a heart or, you know, maybe give a quick comment or something like that. And that's great. That's what I'm looking for, and I appreciate those people. But when it comes to, uh, but when it comes to all that other stuff that people are posting, I don't care nothing about it. Your politics, your viruses, your debates, your religions, your stupid memes, your TikTok videos. You know, those stupid TikTok videos. All these little things that really take no kind of effort. All that kind of stuff, I don't care about. Go look at my YouTube channel, Mikey Sun TV. M I K I E S O N T V. Go look at my YouTube channel. Go and look at the playlist and look at all the different topics that I cover. Go into my blog, Personal Life playlist, and you're going to see all kind of great stuff in there. You're going to learn about me. I did some fun little videos in there about myself, like five things you might not know about Mikeson, about me. Didn't really get any views, no interactions, nothing. I took time and effort to do those, got creative with some, with uh, with those little videos, and, and, and you get nothing. So, and then like I mentioned on Facebook where, where I was talking about all this, not only am I taking the time and effort to try and do these things, I also back up everything that I record. So I have multiple hard drives full of all these videos. I have a Google Drive account where I upload all my videos that I have to pay for. So all this stuff takes my time, my effort, and my money. And I'm paying for a higher speed, supposed higher speed internet to be able to live stream, to be able to do all this stuff. So, where do you finally stop? You know, I can't do this forever and not have any interaction when I'm I'm watching the bulk of my content. That's crazy. That's an equivalent of me talking to myself, and I do that all day, as it is. So I do this to reach out to people. You know, not only to inspire you and to inspire myself, but, hey, for the most part, and I'll be honest, I'm lonely. So I do this as a way to try to interact with people. You know, I'm a school bus driver. I work for an, an hour and 15 minutes in the morning, I work for an hour and 15 minutes in the afternoon. My wife typically works at night, so she's gone all night. Don't get home till like 10, 30, 11. And then she wakes up in the morning and she leaves out, you know, 11, 12, 1, 2, whatever time she has to leave. And, you know, we don't interact much. I don't have anyone else in the house. So I'm, I'm lonely, so I put these videos out and I try to get some interaction with humans, you know, along with trying to inspire you to do something like this, to even make videos, to work out, to draw, color, paint, do photography, throw some darts, go bowling, do some cooking, some taste tests. Some movie discussions and other great things that I have in there in my playlist. But does it matter? No, I'm not touching anybody. I'm not reaching enough people. My biggest video to date, I believe, is just a quick video I did where I hooked the camera up to my bicycle, looking at my back wheel because it was giving me a problem switching gears. Just a quick video that I did of that has gotten like two, three, five thousand views and tons of comments and all kind of. That's I think that's my biggest video to date. Is that video there 
where I did absolutely nothing. <laughs> no creativity, no real nothing at all. Camera shooting the back wheel to see what the problem is, upload it, and I get all the action in the world. Go figure. That makes you feel kind of like you're wasting your time. Like with this video here. You'll never see it. No one will watch this video. Why? I don't know. And see, now my negativity is coming off, which is going to make you even less attractive to watch the video. But at this point, it don't really matter. So, it's been so long now, so many years, that it really don't matter if you watch or not. So, now, like I mentioned, if you go look at Mikey Sin TV and look at the playlist, you see how many topics did I touch on. Now, most channels don't touch on that many topics. Most channels try to keep it simple to one topic and then maybe little sub-genres of that topic, little things that interest, you know, that connect to that topic. Stuff like that. And I've been told that that's some of my problem with my channel, is that people don't know what to expect. Well, they like to know what to expect. You do too many things. How can you do too many things? How can you be too interesting? How can you be too well-rounded? I personally like channels that do that. I've unsubscribed to countless channels because I got bored of them. You know, I hate it because like I said, I support them all and they're going to... They might not know it, but they're lacking a lot of views and a lot of thumbs up and a lot of comments right now. Because I unsubscribe to them. Because after a year, five years, you get tired of the same content. So some of you out there, or pretty much all of you out there that unsubscribe to, if you're watching this, and I'm still, and I'm still subscribed to you and you're only doing really one topic, you're lucky that I'm still there. Because I find it boring. I like interesting people. I like interesting things. I like being entertained. I like not knowing exactly what I'm going to be watching. At any given moment. I think that's what makes things... You know... Just interesting. For lack of a better word. Having said that, I do have a video game channel where it's just me live streaming video games, but I'm not very active on there because I don't get any views on there either. Old Mental Pickle, O-L-D-M-E-N-T-A-L is the first word. Pickle is the second. Old Mental Pickle. You can go look at that channel if you want, but I don't get no views over there either. I got like a couple subscribers. And they don't take part. Even whenever I do live stream, they don't take part. So. I don't know. I guess you either have it or you don't. And the way people are these days, it doesn't take my, I don't think people are looking for my kind of videos. People want quick, stupid, a lot of times loud and obnoxious videos, they want loud personalities, they want quick, you know, three minutes or less videos, they want just trash and stupid stuff and just, and, and I don't offer that, you know, I'm from a different generation, I have a different mindset, and, you know, I just don't offer that kind of crap. And if that's what it takes to make it big. See, there's people that made it, that kind of grandfathered in. 
on YouTube and that. They got there and they got their people and they built their communities long before I did. Now by the time I'm coming along, you have 10 million channels out there that are doing a lot of the same stuff I do or, you know, bigger, better productions and, and stuff like that. It's just random channels, random people, random stuff just make it. And uh, some of us just fall to the backside and we just never make it. And I just have to face the facts. I'm one of those people. I'm just one of those channels. So, I'm, you know, and I've mentioned it before, I've brought it up before, but I really am considering just kind of being done and stop stressing over it. I mean, I'm not really getting anything out of it except for frustration because I'm not making it. And I deserve to make it because I put in the time and the effort. So I deserve to make it. I deserve to be recognized. And I'll say that with all honesty and without a, a single care in the world what you think. By now, I deserve to have made it. When you work hard and you're persistent and consistent and you've done your best like I have, you deserve to make it. I've even wanted to shut down my Facebook because I get no interaction there. And I've been wanting to shut down Facebook for like five, six, eight years. I've been on Facebook since 2009. And pretty much, it, it's just, you know, it's garbage. It can be a great place if you make it a great place. But overall, it's just a garbage experience. I'm not getting nothing out of it. I've got so much, I have so many pictures and videos and discussions that I've brought up and, and posted and different things on Facebook now that it's almost impossible to just shut it down. The family that I do connect with, the little bit that I connect with them, is on Facebook. And I do enjoy Facebook Marketplace. And I do enjoy posting things and trying to be interactive and positive and be a role model and, and inspiration and all that, but you get nowhere. I'm getting nowhere, guys. Basically, like what I'm doing here, I'm just spinning in one place. So... Now, how long do you keep going? How long do you keep pushing forward? I tried to build my brand, my DITI. Get up, get out, get ready, and do it, do it. I tried to build that brand. It's not going anywhere. I tried to build my YouTube channel. It ain't going nowhere. I tried to build up my Facebook page. It ain't going anywhere. And I, I, I can't even accept friends on Facebook because everybody gets on my nerves with what they post and so I unfollow them. And if I'm going to unfollow you, I might as well unfriend you. Now, I do have some of my family unfollowed, like I said, because they post politics and religion and all that crap. So they're unfollowed, but I love them and, you know. But just trying to build like a community, I can't do it because everyone's annoying. People are just annoying. And if you're like me and you think everybody's annoying and you can't stand people, 
it makes it really difficult to build that community sometimes. So I'm kind of a catch-22 there. Wow. I got a minute and 50 seconds left. That's going to buy pretty quick. Well, I know nobody's going to watch this video, just like you don't watch any of my other videos. So, Mikey Sin TV might be gone after this year. I might be calling it quits, and I know for sure that I'm not going to be posting any more of my maps or anything like that on Facebook of my my rides or my walks or any of that. Less, less stress in my life. If I haven't inspired you by now, I never will. Got 50 seconds left. 50. And go make me another cup of some French vanilla coffee and go watch some old school game shows from the 60s, 70s, 80s, early 90s. You know, the best time in history, those years. And get away from all this crap. And I'm going to keep doing my thing, whether anyone watches or not, whether I inspire you or not. So if you want anyways, check out Mikey Sun TV, M-I-K-I-E-S-O-N TV, all one word, Mikey Sun TV. Like, share, subscribe, or don't, don't really care. Check me out on Facebook, but I doubt that you can because I won't friend you. The old buns. Oh, that hurts. <sighs> Whew. One of these days I'm going to get me a better seat. <sighs> all right. All my stuff's done for the day. I've went for a walk. I've worked out. I went for another walk and I spun on the bike. That's how you do it. That's how you not only inspire yourself to do better, that's how you inspire others to do better if they pay attention. But they don't. So guys, we'll see you next time. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to Mikey Sin TV, or don't. Don't care. All right, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, and we'll see you not much longer. So you better enjoy while you can. Mwah.